Our first television Peabody goes to WCVB for documenting the ease, the awful ease with which court-appointed guardians can exploit mentally ill wards of the state. They are mentally retarded. They have lived all their lives, five decades or more, at this facility in Munson. Good job, hon. They are sheltered, well-fed, and by all appearances, well cared for. Still, they are institutionalized. The lifestyle is modest, monotonous. Workers here wish they could give them more. The opportunity, like all of us, to take a vacation, get out of your normal daily life and daily routine. And there's no reason why Martha can't take a vacation. Martha has more than $100,000 in the bank, money which is supposed to be spent on her. But it's not. And she's not alone. A two-month-long New Center 5 investigation of probate court records has found that some 1,500 or more mentally retarded wards in Massachusetts have tens of millions of dollars sitting in trust accounts, which for the most part are never touched. And it sits there and it will be inherited. Uh, in the meantime, lawyers and banks take their fees from reviewing these documents and, uh, and the person with a disability doesn't benefit. Here to accept WCVB reporter and producer Brian Leary. Thank you. First, I'd like to thank the collaborators, photographer Steve Colvin and editor Raymond Smith, and secondly, the facilitators, because these are inherently selfish exercises. I want to thank those that gave me the time. A wonderfully understanding wife, Catherine, uh, my news director, Candy Altman, and bosses, Paul LaCamera and uh, Fred Young, and the folks at Hearst for having the sense of humor to allow an evening news anchor to disappear for two months uh, and investigate some courthouse files. That takes a sense of humor and a great sense of commitment. Thank you.